Okay, I've got a crazy theory. I know exactly who the new 14th Doctor is gonna be. Right, welcome everybody to Sailteal. My name is Tim. And on this channel where I'm celebrating the awesomeness that is the TV show Doctor Who. So if you are new here, please consider subscribing. Right, today is theory time, folks. And I've got a mad, crazy theory about the new Doctor in Doctor Who. So we've had the San Diego Comic Con reveal. We've had the new trailer. And during that reveal, it was announced that Jacob Anderson, a.k.a. Grey Worm from... Lord of, the, Lord of the Rings? <laughs> I was going to say Wormtail. Grey Worm from Game of Thrones and he's been in lots of other stuff. Is He's going to be playing a new character, a new reoccurring character called Vinda in the slightly condensed version of the new season of Doctor Who. Now, my spider sense has been tingling, my TARDIS sense, whatever you want to call it. I really, really, really think... Jacob Anderson is in fact playing the 14th Doctor. And there's, there's lots of reasons why. A lot of them are just mad, but this is my theory and I'm sticking to it that he's not playing just any old character. He is the new version, the new regeneration of the Doctor. Right, hear me out, hear me out, because this is a bit mad. So uh, I didn't watch the reveal. I saw that the trailer was on and so I watched it on uh, when it was released. And it wasn't until I realised that we're going to get a new reoccurring characters and I was suddenly like, oh yeah, it's that dude from Game of Thrones. And I saw the photo and there was just something about that photo that just struck, just struck like a nerve, that just struck a chord with me that this guy looks different and not just because he hasn't got the hair and he doesn't look like this from Game of Thrones, but he looks like a lead character. And then the more I kind of thought about it, I thought, you know what? If you didn't know he was named a different character and you, you were just told this was the 14th Doctor, he'd look like what I imagine the next Doctor should look like, if that makes sense. It's kind of a weird one. Uh, for a start with, he's young. He fits kind of the bill in terms of the youth and the energetic character. Um, he's a really nice guy. If you see him in any interviews, he's just full of energy and full of life, so that's really good. He's got that kind of really cool quality unique look like Matt Smith had a unique look uh, Peter Capaldi had a un unique look and I think Jacob Anderson has this unique look as well the other reason the other reason that I think he is a doctor is the description well no no I'm going to digress Chris Chibnall likes to work with people he's worked with before Jodie Whittaker Jodie Whittaker is obviously the doctor he's worked with her a lot in Broadchurch. He's worked with Jacob Anderson in Broadchurch as well and had a lot of good things to say about him at the uh, the Comic-Con panel. He also said something really, something that really resonated with me at the panel as well. I'm going to stick it on here because you just got to hear what he's got to say about the character that Jacob Anderson is playing. Here it is now. He just has, he has that humanity you saw there, that warmth, but he can also play an action hero. Um, and he can, he makes you root for him and he breaks your heart and he's, he's got the whole range. He's just brilliant. You see what I mean? If you didn't know he was playing Vinda and you just heard Chris Chibnall describe a character, the way he's described the character in that interview, He's describing the Doctor, don't you think? He is describing what the qualities of the Doctor are. It's it's uncanny, isn't it? And uh, I I just I just really 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 think that this that Jake Anderson is the fourteenth Doctor, and as part of this kind of season long linked up story that we're going to get, I think that reveal is going to be drip fed across those uh, eight episodes about him being the 14th Doctor and him taking over from Jodie. Because there's been lots of rumours, hasn't there, about her leaving, but nothing ever comes from these rumours and you get all sorts of actors and actresses thrown around. This Wouldn't this be a nice way, a sneaky but nice way for the BBC and Chris Chibnall to introduce the 14th Doctor in a completely different way than it's ever been done before and to dispel all those rumours in one go that maybe the regeneration has to happen? 
that happens at Christmas or happens in 2022, but we already know who's gonna, who she's going to regenerate into it. Isn't that just a fantastic and very different way of doing a regeneration? That it's not just straight hand over to another. It's kind of, oh, hello, we already know you. We're going to go along here and I'm going to go along here and eventually I'm going to regenerate into you and go back down here. So this is kind of timey-wimey stuff. It just makes sense. And the more I'm thinking about it, the more I'm talking to you about it, it's a timey-wimey Doctor who thing that has never been done before but also makes so much sense. It is. Tuesday, July 27th. No one else has got this theory. This is my theory. I'm posting this. I'm the first person to say it and I will stick with this until the end. <laughs> what do you, so what do you think about my theory? Do you think I've gone mad? Do you think it's bonkers? Stick a comment in the comments below. Let me know what you think. Not only about Jacob Anderson, Vinder, 14th Doctor, what we're going to do with the new series of Doctor Who season 13, or the condensed episodes. Stick a comment in the comments below. If you haven't already done so, please subscribe to this channel and give this video a like. I will be back now with more 14th Doctor Theory, Vinda Theory videos very, very soon, as well as other Doctor Who related stuff and all that kind of stuff that goes on on this channel. So, until further ado, until we find out who is the 14th Doctor, my name is Tim. Cheerio for now. Bye bye.